Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? You guys asked for another spy series video. I'm going to give it to you. Okay, we're going to look at spy today on Wednesday, October 5th. We're going to start this as episode one, different thumbnail than it was before. So look for that thumbnail in the new episodes. Before we just get started, um, in order to do this stuff really well, you're going to need a trading uh, a platform to use. So I use TradingView, which is what you see on your screen now. You can give TradingView a try for free down below. There's a link that I placed in the description below that'll give you a free 30-day trial to their subscription-based services. So you can go give that a try, and if you end up liking it, then you'll get up to $30 off of that subscription. But you need to start by going down below and clicking on that link. So I'm going to tell you this, guys. If you work on this stuff, not just the spy stuff, but the strat in general and what we teach on this channel, if you work at it for six months to a year, I promise you it'll change the way you'll learn it. It'll be like this stuff. What we're showing here, it'll be like reading a book. You guys aren't even going to have to watch these videos anymore. You're going to be able to do it on your own. But you need that time in the market. You need the time learning and and absorbing everything that's taught here in order to be able to do that. So look at this stuff diligently, review it diligently, and make sure you're back testing it or whether you're paper trading or real trading. Just be diligent in what you do and concentrate on you know the the main aspects of what we're teaching here and really the number one is risk management and that's what i need you guys to really really focus on and and i i was in a one on one today and we talked a lot about that how the the more you can control your mind and your emotions in order to trade your strategy and manage your risk the better of a trader you will become and it's just it's the simplicity of it. I know psychology of trading is not simple and playing with the emotions that you go through while trading is not simple, but if you can master those, that will make you the successful trader. Okay? Because anybody can click a button to buy and sell. Anybody can draw these lines on these charts for where we should buy and where we should sell. Okay? But you need to actually do that process and do those things and manage that risk to be successful so anyways let's get started on this we'll go through the plays how you could have got in how you could have got out now if we look this is the first this is how we play it guys so probably about a month ago i noticed that you could trade spy in the 30 minute chart really really successfully if you were concentrating on the hourly and the daily being in the same time frame configuration so we need these hourlies and these dailies for sure so this is the very first 30 minute bar of the day this blue line represents where we opened up on the day. So I, I can zoom in for you guys if you want to see that a little better. But this is where we opened. We came down a bit and then we ran up and then we closed right here. So what we would be looking for, I've got this line marked already because that's where the play is going to be. But what we're looking for now off of this 30, first 30 minute bar is a break to the high or the low. And we're looking to hit target. So this target is marked out to the bottom because it is the only target available to us within this range. So that's the first target, okay? And then the next one is not till down here. So we're gonna zoom in and I'm gonna do a little bit, a fast forward of a bar and we're gonna learn something right off the hop here. So if we go to the next bar, that's, that's the next bar. So. We close, we open, and we come right through the trigger. So that pink line, that yellow line, sorry, was our trigger. Now, I'm going to tell you something here, and I was watching this very closely because at no point in these videos do I want to mislead you guys. So we can look at this. We can go back to the five, and I know this thing came through, and then it came back up. Look, we came through these targets, and then we came back up. Okay, I know that happened. So I always tell you guys to take your profit at your targets. If it comes back up through, take that profit. So as we come through this target, guys, I might leave that a little bit higher than, than the target, but that is my stop loss. 
So now if we go back just to the five, just to show you guys how this happened, this came down and back up and I would have been out on this first five minute bar. That would have been my, that would have been my trade. Okay. Now, could you have stayed in longer? Yes. Could you have made a little bit more money? Yes. So we're going to go through that. Let me skip to the next bar because there's the next bar. And yes, you could have taken more profit in anywhere here, but we didn't hit a profit target. So when we go to the next bar, the next bar comes back up through that target anyways. Okay. So this is the part that we have to go through and be comfortable with as traders is when it comes through this target and we take our profit and we see it going down and we're like, no, I should have stayed in it. But if you're following the candlesticks, you would have been out here anyways, right there as this green bar came back through. Okay. So be very, if thorough is maybe not the right word, but you have to be very conscious and, and be strong in your, in your conviction of getting out of that trade and getting into that trade. So when we get into that trade and, and we hit those targets, we have to be prepared to take our profits when we come through that target. And yes, it might go down further or it might just keep going back up to that trigger and you then you're going to lose even more and then you're going to feel bad about trading and then you're going to wish you would have taken your profit at that target okay so that is the hardest part about trading guys is realistically finding your spot to get in and finding your spot to get out so would you would you have made a little bit more you would have but you would have had to find a sell point you would have had to find somewhere in here to sell sell this stock and if you didn't then your next best, best option would have been the break of that bar right here as we came up on the screen. Two down, two up reversal. Now, do we take this trade? So I'll go over this with you guys every single time. You can't take this trade because currently your day is still red. Anything below that blue line, your day is red. Anything above that blue line, your day is green. I need these two, hourly and the daily in the same direction in order for me to take a trade. Okay, let's go to the next candle. I'm going to delete this. Okay, so now we've tagged that line and come back down. So now we're looking for an actionable signal or a trigger, basically. It doesn't have to be an actionable signal, meaning a, a hammer candle or an inside bar, but we're looking to trigger back to the upside. And if it's a 2-2 continuation, I am okay with that. I, I, It doesn't have to be a 30 and 30 reversal. I see a lot of people saying, well, we're looking for 30 and 30s. It's yes and no. Okay, yes and no. We can take a 30-minute 30, 30 2-2 two -two continuation. I would be okay with that. So let's go to the next bar. Okay, so here's what happens on this one. We opened... We came all the way back down and then we came back up through. I can go to the five minute. And where are we? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Okay. There's the bar that comes down and there's the next bar that goes up through the trigger. Okay. Through the target. So now that you guys have seen that and that the trade would have worked that way, we're through the trigger. We're through the target. So where is my stop loss going? Well, look, we went through that stop loss or through this target here, and then we came back down. So take your profit. This is an excellent, excellent trade on SPY. Okay, excellent trade. You guys should have been two for two. And actually what I, what I also wanted to show you guys back here, when I said we got stopped out, you could have taken this trade again off of this trigger, but we didn't hit target, so you would have got stopped out. So if you were looking to do two in a row there, you know, one and one, you're probably even, but this third trade, two and a half hours into the morning, could have ended your day. You could have been done for the day off of this trade. As we come through the trigger, target, target. That's 373.40 to, it's almost $2, just shy of $2, okay? It's like a buck 70. That's a really, really good options trade on SPY. 
Okay, so right here alone, you could have been done for the day. But let's go see what the next candle does. Does Okay, so again, if you got stopped out there, that's fine. If you got stopped out down here, because you would have as this candle came back through, that's also fine. You were still in profit here, guys. You're still in profit. So make sure you have those stop losses. So now, if you're asking, yes, you can get back into this trade as we come back up through. Okay, so you, you can take this trade. We go through one target and put your stop loss at the target. There's another winning trade. Or like even if you took your profit up here because you've already done so well on the last trades and you're like, nah, I'm just going to take my profits and I'm going to be done for the day. So you realistically didn't have to let the candle stop you out or the targets, but you could have pulled profit anywhere in here, guys, and it would have been fine. Okay, but if you let it come back through, this right here should have been your absolute stop. Okay, let's go to the next candle. So now we come back up through again. You want to take another trade? By all means. There you go. There's, there's the trade. Okay, let's look at the target right there. Okay, so we haven't hit it yet. So where is our stop loss? For me, I'm not taking chances with this. So I'm either pulling profit here already because I've already done so well and I, I've already taken a bunch of profit from the day from SPY. Okay, so I'm, I'm okay taking more here. Or you can say my very, very baseline is break even. I'm putting my stop loss there and, and that's it. And I'm going to leave, I know I'm leaving the day up regardless of what happens. So there you have it. There's your inside bar and it comes down. Now, again, out of the trade, okay? Can you look for another break to the upside? What happens on the next candle? So we're at coming into the noon hour my time and we break that trigger again. And, and again, guys, if this is me and I've already made all that money, I'm not trading. I don't need to trade this anymore. I just don't because I've, I don't need to waste my capital can you make more money? Yes, but why risk the money that you've already made on that day? Okay, so we've come up through this trigger again now. Started from the bottom, now we're here. See what I did there? <laughs> um, so yeah, there's our trigger. And if you want to hold, you know, because we just broke through and you're like, ah, I'm going to, we haven't broke through a whole bunch. I want to wait on this trade a little bit. And that's fine. You can give yourself a little bit of room. But it's your risk management. It's you guys, how you have to decide how you want to manage that risk and how much loss you want to want to take on. So if we go to the next bar, we skip right through it. There was that outside bar. So again, we came right back through and you would have been out. But now again, we're in that same we're in that same spot. I fast forwarded a little bit too far, but can you take another trade off of this? And yes, the answer is yes. We break through there. And again, these targets just become your stop losses. And I don't have any more targets marked out here. I'd have to go all the way back to this point, And that would be the target way up here, which again, there's no time left here. There's 28 minutes left in the day. And again, if this is me, I wouldn't, I'm not trading this late in the day. It's just not something I do. I like that first morning session and that's where I like to take my gains. And if I don't get gains, then I, I might look for another one, but I'm realistically looking, moving on to the next day. Okay. So anywhere in here already, guys, we're in the last 26 minutes of the day. Take your profit in here and leave a happy camper. It's just another example of how well and and how, e I don't want to say easy, but how you can make money on SPY every single day off of one ticker. You don't have to go searching through multiple different tickers all the time. And yes, you can do that. 
You can look at multiple tickers and take profit on multiple tickers, but you don't have to. You can stick to one ticker in SPY and make all the money that you need right here, okay? If you need more stuff, I'm on Twitter. Make sure you're going down below in the link in the description below. I've got a, uh, there's a link in the description below for my Discord. So everything I offer for free or fee-based is in there. Get part of that Griswold Gold membership. You get the Griswold Strat Indicator. You get one-on-ones every month. You get group sessions every month. Um, the live trading bots, top five picks. Uh, there's a one-hour Strat course that I've created in there for you guys. Uh, ad-free watch list videos that I've also got in there for the members. So thank you guys for, for all of that. Everybody who is a member, thank you guys very much. And anybody who's given me a super thanks, that little heart at the bottom of your YouTube screen with the dollar symbol, I thank you guys for those as well. It's very much appreciated. I, I enjoy all of you guys. I always enjoy the questions that come in. Make sure you're watching at the end of the video. I've got a learning tools playlist in the bottom right and a the original spy video for this series in the top right. So go check that stuff out. Make sure you're getting in that Discord. We're going to learn and earn together. I'm going to make you guys successful traders. Give me some time. Come back. Check out the rest of the videos. We're going to change the way you guys trade. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.